Hello, welcome to um, Connor Smith's third year project side dump of focus qualification. I'm just taking a brief run around and show you a few features of my bucket. This is the inside of the bucket. This is the trap door you're looking at here. They are um, the bolts and nuts that are holding us in place. There are 12 of them altogether. I just go around the back here. Um, what you're looking at here is the pivot point of the side dump and the area where the quick hitch or um, hitching area for the skid steer will be mounted. It's not too much of my um, specifications that will be to the manufacturer. And um, here is the trap door lever system and the hydraulic system that operates the trap door and the chute. This is the front end of the trap door you're looking at here. It's 200 by 250 millimeters dimensions of the trap door. And um, as you can see here, this is the pivot point here for the um, chute. It's held in together by 10 mil um, pins kept in together with lynch keys. Secured together with lynch keys, I should say. Well, as you can see here, this is the um, latch that keeps the chute up. This is a normally closed switch. When the chute is down, the position is and now an, a buzzer operates, indicating the chute is down since it is a bit of a hazard. That operates this buzzer up above here that does not go off until the chute is in the upright position. This is the hydraulic um, ram here that opens and closes the trap door. You can see here it, the pivot, there is a pivot point on the bucket that it pivots on. Um, here is, I'm just indicating here a few grease nipples that are going to be annually greased to keep um, an upkeep of the hydraulic ram and the pins that hold it in place. This is just a bit of a instruction how to install it onto the side dump system. It's, um, the pivot point gone in and that's going to be indicated on the actual pivoting system on the side dump bucket. This is just a brief indication of how the operation of the trap door works up and down the race with the two raceways on the side of the trap door housing. And if this trap door were to ever get seized or clogged, if any grit or stone gets stuck on the inside of this the machine, should never be gone near while in operation. It should be turned off and disconnected from the skid steer. So these raceways should be removed from the trap door housing using the appropriate equipment and cleaned off and greased. And the same with the side of the actual trap door, it should be cleaned off, greased and checked for any wear or distortion. This is just um, a bit of an operation I did and um, how my system actually works in the side dump. This is the pivot point it will be mounted on as you can see. I will start tipping it now. Its max tipping range of the hydraulic ram mounted will be around 60 degrees. And as you can see, my trapdoor housing and the chute gives it extra distance of discharge compared to the original um, design on the side dump buckets, which makes it a pretty handy application. Overdid it a wee bit there. Open safety. Uh, this sit at 60 degrees anyhow. One of the tests I would have liked to have done if I did make it is actually do out the discharge rates on how on how long you leave the door open, how much of your material was discharged after so many minutes. This book, which I must remind you, is only limited to li light, dense materials that is stated in my document, e.g. dry, loose gravel, calf nuts, cow, um, chicken feed, anything like that, clay or wet clay would not be used. This is a breakdown of my um, 
components that make it up. This is the chute. The chute is um, can only carry around nine kilograms max, so it can. These are the raceways that the tractor runs up and down. As I stated later earlier on, they should be annually taken off every hundred hours and greased and checked for stuff for any wear. There is the raceway there I am indicating, and the bolts and nuts that hold it in place, they should be removed and checked. And along as well with the sides of the end trap door should be checked for wear distortion, should be cleaned off with a wire brush and grease. The door, the whole trap door is big welded on the side of the bucket. There's a breakdown of fluid flow components, the lever, and this would be the actual threaded bar and bolt. It's not really indicated well there, but it should be greased annually as well to keep enough keep of it. This hydraulic ram to operate the system. The two grease nipples should be greased annually to keep the upkeep of the two pins that the hydraulic ram pivot on every hundred hours or never serviced. A bit of health and safety anyhow, I want to state how dangerous this shoot actually is. For as you can see here this worker is unaware that's coming there and to keep a good visibility on it it should be covered in 3M adhesive tape. And now as well, the normally closed switch I indicated to you when it's down, it's on, when it's up, it's closed. I want to state also how dangerous this trapdoor hazard is. It has a rating of 3.1 or 2, sorry, and it should never be used for a cutting tool, and no one should ever use it as step or stand on it. Thank you very much.